Hey, welcome back, Django and Python friends, to the Inch by Inch series. This class is a follow-on to the first class that I had up there on data tables. This one is going to focus exclusively on sorting on a date field. And you may be asking yourself at this point, why G? Stands for Yogi Coder. Why two classes? Why didn't we cover it all in the first class? Have you ever tried to sort on the date field? using data tables? If so, it's likely that it hasn't worked for you. Many of us are not even aware of this. Why is this that it doesn't work? This is because of the countless ways to represent a date and support for date formats varying significantly by different browsers. How do we get this to work then with data tables? Are we at a loss? No, we're not. There are a number of libraries that we can use. And for this particular class, we're going to use one that's called Moment JS. And you're going to see that the implementation is not hard at all. And if you already have data tables set up, then really all you have to do is two different things. If you don't have it set up, then you want to go back and watch the first video in this series on setting up data tables with Django. But these two things are as follows. Add this to your JavaScript files. This would include the moment.js, and you can do that through CDN or other means. And then add this to your JavaScript code, this one line. This registers the date time format you want data tables to detect and to sort on. That is all you need to do. Okay, so let's go through this and see exactly how we get this working. So you need an HTML template with a table and the correct tags and some data in your table to just assure yourself that it's going to work. So you must use the ID tag to tie to the JavaScript code section. Now, again, if you've already set up data tables, you already have this taken care of. And by the way, that's not shown on this particular slide. And as always, guys, I'll have this code up on GitHub when it's all said and done, so you can just plug and play. Then you must use the T head open and close tags as opposed to just the head. And same thing with the body, T body instead of the body tags, okay? And I show that all here. Other than that, you just have a straight ahead table with headers and rows and columns and you're done. Make sure you have some date fields in there and you can use the date format that I have for these two, either one, you don't have to do both, but use one of these and I'll show you how to do the corresponding code for JavaScript for the moment.js. Okay, and we must add a moment.js files. I'm choosing to link to the CDN, so you see it here. It's in my same script section where I have my other data table CDNs. You can see them above. Then we can modify the data tables JavaScript code to include moment.js functionality. So here in its very basic implementation, I have my document.ready function inside my script tags. Then here I have my moment.js statements. I have two different ones to correspond to the two different dates that I'm going to use in my particular table just to show you. Not that it makes a whole lot of sense to have these two dates next to each other, but you see I have them formatted differently and that's the trick. Then underneath I have my typical dot data table statement and it has that pound sign table ID to correspond to the ID that I said you have to have on your table. And again, if you have data table set up, you already have this implemented. But if not, again, go watch the first one so it could walk you through. Here I wanted to show you what the entire snippet of code would look like. My data tables JavaScript code that includes both the buttons that I'm going to use for my export and also this moment.js to be able to sort on any date fields. Okay, and let's take a look at this live. So here is my HTML, my template. So we see that I have up top my jQuery before the head. I have my table set up here, just like I showed you. It looks no different. I have all my scripts and links, right? My original ones for data table are here. Then the two new ones for the moment.js, they all go here below the table before the closing body. And the last thing that would happen here is my code that I just showed you. So when all of that is together, let's run this. We get to see that I can sort and check me, make sure that we're right. These are my buttons, right, for the existing. I'll only show you these two fields, but let's check out this this way first. January 15, 2016 through April 12th, 2019. 16, 17, 18, 19, yep. Yeah. Check them both ways, guys. Sometimes I can fool myself. 19, 18, 17, 16, 16, right? December 12th is more recent than January 15th, so that's right. 
and the same thing here. This is date two, January 16, 17, 18, 19, right? You've seen just formatted differently, but you see that moment.js and data tables can handle it both ways. 16, 17, 18, 19, right? This comes before December, yep. And then in the reverse, 19, 18, 17, 16, 16, yep. So it works, guys, and it wasn't even that hard to set up, was it? Okay, Django family, thank you for watching till the end. If this class has helped you, consider helping me to continue to bring these classes to you and others. Helping is easy. Just do the following. First, subscribe to the Yogi Coder YouTube channel. Next, like this video and leave whatever comments and or questions you'd like. Finally, share this video on any and all social media channels with your friends and colleagues. And as always, this presentation and its associated code will be stored up in GitHub at the link that you can find below. That's it for now. See you in the next one.